Hello and welcome to our Planet Zoo education experience. I'm Elle and I'm one of the community managers here at Frontier. And today we are at Shepworth Wildlife Park to learn a little bit about some of the animals that you can find in Planet Zoo. Right now, we're going to be doing a keeper talk where we learn about the black and white ruffed lemur. I am joined by Sam, who's going to teach us a little bit more about them. Hi, Sam. Hey. So welcome to our black and white rough lemur enclosure here at Shepworth. So we have three lemurs here. We have uh, three males. Uh, they're quite old boys at the moment. Uh, you'll find lemurs in captivity. They'll live to about 25 to 30 years old. These guys are knocking on that mark at the moment. As you'll find with all lemurs, they come from Madagascar, obviously hot, humid, jungly country off the coast of Africa. A uh, very, uh, very unique species. They're the joint largest species of lemur. That's uh, joint with the red rough lemur. So they can go to about three to four kilograms. So for a lemur, that is quite big. Another really cool fact about these guys is they're actually the second loudest primate in the entire world. That's behind only the howler monkey. So if you do hear a lemur howling around our zoo, then it's probably, the, it's probably our lemurs here. So uh, they do this for a couple of reasons, partly due to communication and aggression between lemurs sometimes, but it's mostly as an alarm call. As these guys do have a natural predator, which is the fusa, uh, so the, uh, they will hunt the, hunt the lemurs in the wild. Uh, so they make the alarm call. If they hear this loud noise, all the lemurs know to get out of trouble, get into a tree trunk, get up high somewhere, just anywhere safe to get out of trouble. So as you can see, we are wearing masks while we are in this enclosure. That is because lemurs are primates. And so we have to wear these, isn't that right? Absolutely, yes. So there is the potential they could contract uh, uh, COVID-19. So just take no chances. So we're always going to wear masks around all of our primates. Absolutely, we want to keep them safe. So right now we are joined by Humbug. This is one of the black and white rough lemurs that they have here at Shetrip. As you were just mentioning, these guys are critically endangered, but one of the things that Shepworth Wildlife Conservation Charity does directly help with is putting money towards the species specifically. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the lemurs that you have here? Absolutely. So as I said, we have three older boys here. So um, as you can imagine, uh, no breeding going on here, but they are still doing a huge amount of their conservation efforts. So they act as great ambassadors for their species. So it's all well and good, I was telling you how cool lemurs are, but it's once you get right up close to them, as you can see here, you can see how amazing they are and why we should care about this species so much. So as I mentioned, um, they are partially hunters for their meat because they're quite a large lemur, but their main threat, unfortunately, is, ha is habitat loss. So in Madagascar, it's quite a sad story. Almost 90% of the uh, natural forest has been uh, torn down at this point. This makes room for palm oil plantations, um, things like farmlands, hotels, villages, shops. So these guys are losing their homes as well, uh, where, they, um, where they sort of uh, mate, where they reproduce, where they find, um, where they uh, hide from their prey and where they forage for fruit as well, which is what makes up most of their diet. So what we like to encourage, one of the main um, frontiers of conservation for lemurs is ecotourism. That's a really good way to help these lemurs. A um, uh, cool fact about Madagascar is roughly 75% of the wildlife you find there can only be found in Madagascar. So ecotourism is a real uh, boost for these guys. So what I will say, if anyone fancies a holiday, I will recommend Madagascar. <laughs> so as you can see, he's really enjoying his food at the moment. So they're getting a mix of fruit and veg. As I said, uh, most of their diet in the world is made up of fruit, but in, in uh, this country, our fruit contains a bit too much sugar for them. So that can lead to health problems such as obesity, uh, dental problems and diabetes. So that's why we feed them mostly veg. We give them a bit of fruit just as a little treat for them. So with habitat loss, it's not just that they're losing their habitats, they're also losing the roadways between. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about that? Absolutely. So um, they are losing their uh, ways of path between different, um, different areas of their forest. So they're a very arboreal species. Um, so arboreal means they like to live up in the treetops. It's where they feel safest, where they do their hunting, breeding, sleeping as well. Um, so unfortunately, as trees are getting torn down, they're uh, struggling to move between different areas of the forest. So this leads to different groups and families of lemurs becoming isolated, not being able to uh, mix and match. And unfortunately, lemurs part of inbreeding as well, which is another um, threat, to their, um, uh, threat to their health and their conservation status too. So despite the fact they are endangered, when they manage to have young, how many do they normally have? Um, their litters are usually between two and three. It could be less or more on, on uh, special circumstances, but that's usually around the average. So their young will be heavily dependent on their, on their mum uh, up to about six months. So they actually won't leave their mum's back or their undersides for that whole time until they become able to forage uh, for their food on their own. Practice climbing trees, they will still uh, rely on mum for quite a bit just to keep them out of trouble, just in case they don't get it first time round. 
So obviously an important part about any zoo or wildlife park is enrichment. How do you keep them entertained while they're here? Absolutely. So uh, one of the main rules of being a zookeeper, we want to keep our animals living as natural as possible like they're doing in the wild. So we keep our enclosure here as natural as it can be. So you can see we have lots of foliage, so that keeps them nice and safe and hidden and comfortable if they don't want to be on view. Also, we have lots of lots of climbing platforms here. As I said, they do like to be up top. And that's where we like to hide a lot of their feeders as well. So we put all of their, um, all of their food in hanging feeders, hanging baskets, hanging platforms. They have to jump around and actually hunt for their food. Rather than just popping on a plate for them, it would be really boring and obviously unnatural for them as well. So uh, we hide their food around as much as possible. And also try and make, it sounds a bit mean, but make it as hard as possible for them to get their food out. So they have to do, uh, work out little puzzles, be able to hang from different areas to find their food, also get their hands in different, quite tough, um, quite tough containers sometimes. Basically make them really work for it so they actually have something to do during their day. Well, you say you make it hard for them, but at the same point, I have seen that when you come into the enclosure, if you walk backwards in, one of them, Boomer, your most friendly, will actually climb on your shoulder. Absolutely. So yeah, he, he's, he's the dominant here, so he will jump right on you. He wants to be first in the food bowl. So again, that might not seem too natural, but it's actually really good for us keepers. We can get up close to him every single day to health check him so we can see every little part of his body, make sure he's nice and healthy. And also, it's very nice to be up close to a lemur. Put that close. Yes, I locked out and got to do it myself. And he's so cute. He's so friendly. I love him so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. Oh, you're I've welcome. had great it's been a fun. Pleasure. It's been so great meeting all the lemurs, especially Boomer. I think he's my <laughs> new favourite. Thank you for joining us again. This is a Planet Zoo education experience. We are here today celebrating the launch of the Planet Zoo Wetlands Animal Pack. But you can find the black and white rough lemur in the base game. So if you want to help out Shepworth Wildlife Conservation Charity, which we really hope you will do then you can find all the links to do so down below in the description. They help out so many different things with their conservation efforts, but one of the things they do help out is specifically the black and white rough lemurs. So if you've loved what you've seen today, remember that your money can help that too.